Hey, this is Robert from the MIT App Inventor team in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I want to give a big shout out to at App In Club for organizing such a great series of crash courses and competitions. App Inventor is a powerful tool for building mobile apps. Whether your idea is straightforward or super tech heavy, some of the newest features on our platform let you use artificial intelligence for image classification, integrating a conversational agent into uh, your, your app, connecting Google to Google Sheets, showing data visualizations on the new chart function, and in beta we have ways of connecting Internet of Things devices for gathering real-world data. You can keep the App Inventor team posted at MIT by checking in with our community forum. It's <clears throat> full of all kinds of coders, from beginners to members of our development staff to advanced programmers working in industry. Any of these folks can answer questions day or night, and I would encourage you to post something cool that you made in one of App In Club's awesome Just wanted to quickly courses. recognize and congratulate the App In Club team for all they're doing in teaching and promoting MIT App Inventor. I think MIT App Inventor is the best way for students to learn computer science, because just within a short time of first encountering programming, you'll be able to build interactive apps, cloud databases, interface with AI, and so many other cool things, all thanks to MIT App Inventor's focus on computational thinking rather than just memorizing syntax. It's how I and a lot of my other friends got started in programming and we were able to progress into more advanced topics very seamlessly. So if you're interested in any emerging you know, field in computer science, whether it's AI or algorithms or software engineering, do give MIT App Inventor a try because it's an incredible platform for learning. A mobile application is a computer program that runs on a mobile device like phones, iPads, things that are often portable and easy access. And that itself describes the importance of mobile application development. They're fundamentally created so we can do things like communicate, educate, and entertain ourselves conveniently and on the go. As long as we are able to move, mobile application development is here to stay. And the best part is anyone can create a mobile app with the click of a button. All you need is a developer tool and the internet, and you can create the next Instagram, Candy Crush, you name it. The power is at your My name is Ritha Ganesh, and I am a current computer science student at MIT. Having developed a number of apps myself, I know that mobile app development is one of the most effective and rewarding ways of putting your ideas into the hands of users around the world. MIT App Inventor is an intuitive and interactive platform to get started with mobile app development, and I applaud App and Club's work for training and supporting students today to become developers of tomorrow. The hard work you put into learning app development will help you develop valuable skills that will prepare you to tackle challenges and bring your visions to life. I'm excited to see what hey, you Hey, I'm John and I'm a student at Harvard. The last three summers, I've had the pleasure of teaching some courses in MIT App Inventor, and it's been really fun. I think that MIT App Inventor was a big part of why I even got into CS in the first place as a kid just working on some science or projects here and there. And, you know, it's such a powerful place to learn stuff like machine learning, connect to Internet of Things devices. It's got so much functionality packed in such an easy to use format. I think that AppN is doing a great job paying it forward to the next generation of developers. And to any students out there, I wish you, wish you guys the best of luck in your journey. And this is a great way to get started. I'm Annie and I'm a student at Purdue. Everyone using a phone right now to watch this video is watching it on a mobile app. Mobile apps are used every day by the vast majority of people. Because it is such a crucial part of our lives, mobile app development skills are important and will improve in the years to come. Mobile app development doesn't need to be hard, and this is where MIT App Inventor comes in. Just a few blocks can create a working application and the possibilities are endless. Hello, my name is Derek. I'm currently a junior studying computer science at Caltech. And over the last few years, I've had the opportunity to develop curricula for and teach introductory computer science courses using MIT App Inventor. And comparing it with all my other experience learning software engineering and computer science, I can definitively say that the ease of use uh, in learning, developing, testing, and deploying uh, MIT App Inventor is makes it one of the best ways to learn computer science as a beginner. Uh, it's just so easy to cook up an idea and see it come to life right in your hands and i think it's a great thing that more young people are beginning to learn how to implement their ideas in such an amazing atmosphere it's really easy to use and it's not just simple it's it can be very very you can create very advanced apps 
and uh, projects with MIT App Inventor, pretty much the sky's the limit. And I think it's great that you guys are learning using it. My name is Kat and I do research at Yale with an academic background in psychology. In a world where technology is growing exponentially, having access to a smart device that houses applications becomes more commonplace. Applications are likely used on a daily basis for you as well, from sending texts through Messenger, defeating a zombie in pocket Minecraft, and ordering a late night dinner through Uber Eats. Apart from a personal use, applications have a global outreach and have the potential to change to create change for good, such as climate action, healthcare, and non-traditional ways of education. And as someone whose first programming tool is MIT App Inventor, I think it's a great way to kickstart your understanding of coding language while building something functional without sacrificing creativity. And for students interested in creating applications, I strongly encourage you to think of the gaps that exist in society and build something that responds to those gaps. Good luck, and I look forward to using your innovative creations one day.